like this weird competition of cool. You take a reef shot to the side of the head for a wave like that. If I can win this, this will be the greatest moment of my life. All the girls are surfing so well. They're beautiful inside and out. Going skagless is a whole other realm, like a fast version of body surfing. There's something about just getting in the ocean and cleansing ourselves from everything else that's going on in the world. My job description is student, student of surfing. Aloha and welcome to Board Stories, coming to you from the beautiful Waimea Valley on Oahu's North Shore. I'm your host Chris Latronic and this time on the show we're going to exit the ocean and check out some new wave pool technology that's taking surfing to new heights deep in the heart of Texas. We also highlight the Irons Brothers Classic and Pine Trees on Kauai's North Shore where it's all about fun and community. And take a peek at the new acclaimed Andy Irons documentary, Kissed by God. There's nothing artificial about the beauty of Waimea Valley. With its natural flora and fauna in this breathtaking setting, it's kind of like the surfing world. But there's a new pool that's making waves both literally and physically. And Hawaii's Seth Monee has got to sample it out firsthand to bring us our move of the week. In landlocked Waco, Texas, a new wave has surfaced at the BSR Cable Park. Powered by American Wave Machines, new technology, dubbed the Perfect Swell, surfers can now have a repetitive wave delivering an oncoming launch section to practice and perfect technical aerials. And Seth Moniz took full advantage, stomping this lofty backflip with ease. Stick around, there's plenty more wave pool action to come at the American Wave Machine's newest concoction in Waco, Texas's BSR Cable Park. Keep it right here on Board Stories.
Up next, we fly over to Kauai to drop in on the 17th annual Irons Brothers Classic at Pine Trees, with plenty of games, prizes, and fun for all the Groms. And we take a sneak peek at the premiere of the new documentary, Andy Irons, Kissed by God. Board Stories is coming right back. Welcome back to Board Stories, coming to you from Waimea Valley on Oahu's North Shore. This valley is lush and tropical and surrounded by greenery, and just up from the world-class wave of Waimea Bay. In a lot of ways, it shares some similarities to Hanalei Bay on Kauai's North Shore, which is the site of the annual Irons Brothers Pine Trees Classic. Our contest is like the perfect day to bring our whole community together. Everybody surrounds himself by the beach anyway, so it's kind of cool that everybody comes, barbecues, hangs out, and everybody's donating their time. I'm really thankful for Ruka and Billabong and Tomba. He has been amazing and been with us since day one, but it's just a, a day that our whole community really does come together and gives back to the kids. This is year 17 now. There's a lot of them for kids, it's their first time surfing a contest. So we come down in the morning and we start off with hot chocolate for the kids and after that we start off with some malasadas next course. For the third course, or after lunch, we got shave ice. And we do about you know 500 shave ice throughout the day for all the kids and that, after that we end up with some cotton candy and we also donate 10 surfboards. We try to pick the kid, just a kid with a really good attitude or it looks like they, they need a surfboard. My favorite thing of this event is the food and the games. My favorite thing about this event is just surfing and hanging around with my friends. Best thing is probably just surfing and having fun, but I like to go in and get the swag and I just like playing all the fun games. There's like balloon pop and like Jenga, there's like bouncy balls. We get 100 kids in the pushing division. We actually had 125 kids this year. And to see that many families come out, because the pushing division, you have to have a dad or a mom pushing you in. So it turns into a big family event. You have 125 kids down there with their parents pushing their kids in. It really is like the true essence of what this event's all about, like giving kids an opportunity to surf for the first time and put a jersey on and you know feel that stoke of doing a surf contest. Bruce and Andy, they used to live right here across the street. Um, and they're brought up surfing here and breeding ground for the future generations of surfing and probably another world champion. One thing about this spot is there's a little inside reforms that's good for the little, little kids. You know, it, it's good for all levels of surfing. You got the outside breaks and then you got the inside little reforms. There's a little current in there, but um, they got to learn to do it that in the future, right? <laughs> so, yeah, I just think it's unreal for the kids to have this, especially for the kids who aren't rated in surfing and stuff like that, because they get a taste of uh, being a better competitive surfer and might give them a drive to become a pro surfer and make something out of it, I guess. Like, makes me want to cry watching Axel. Um, it's just the cutest thing. He genuinely loves it, and the whole community is cheering for him. All his cousins are here, Uncle Bruce is here, and um, it's so magical watching him surf his home break. Backpacks, sunglasses, I think. 
towels and they got water bottles and it's just about having a good experience, you know what I mean? And I think the first two six play something, they get a really good amount of prizes. Um, it's my chance to keep Andy's legacy alive. He always loved this contest and giving to the kids in our community, so it's in memory of him. And of course, Bruce is here and he loves the community as well. I don't really don't see it, you know, any end, near end to this event. I just hope history-wise this event goes on forever. It's what community is. Like this is a community in Honolulu getting together for a day to celebrate surfing and, and the water and the ocean and how beautiful this place is. So I, I think Pine Trees Classic will go on forever. Man, that contest looked epic. Andy Irons' legacy is truly living on. Now let's take a sneak peek at the documentary just released about Andy's life. by himself. No one really knew exactly how much of a toll it was really going to take. I'm Andy Irons, 27 years old, been surfing for 20 years. We're here at the world premiere of Andy Irons, Kiss by God. We're really honored to be here in Andy's home state, downtown Honolulu. Huge turnout, beautiful theater, and uh, this is probably the one that, you know, hits the closest to home, so pretty emotional. Yes, this is very special. Um, the people that live here are more family than really anyone else. So people here in Hawaii knew Andy more than others, but I hope tonight that they'll have a little bit even more understanding of why he was the way he was, you know, bipolar and drug addiction issues. You know, I just hope tonight that people will just have a little bit more of a understanding of what he suffered from and I hope it helps people. I hope his story really helps people because at the end of the day that's what he wanted. Well, I think the fans can expect a very emotional journey, you know, in typical Andy fashion. He was all over the place in terms of ferocity and humbleness and some of the struggles that he had and uh, really it touches on everything. The film's 97 minutes, you know, it's a true documentary. We shot 55 interviews for the film. We combed through thousands of hours of old footage and photos, and, you know, we shot a bunch of original stuff as well to help tell the story. And really a blend and a, and a true journey in storytelling. It took us three and a half years to put it together, and really exciting to have it finally done. Probably what we're most proud about is the commitment to the truth that the family showed and really kind of heal and evolve throughout the process. So that, that was really, really touching for me. I want to say I couldn't be more proud of the movie. It's going to have the ability to help people. You know, I really think that that message about mental illness and opiate addiction is something that really needs to get out there. Like we need to normalize that conversation and, and let people have that conversation. So I'm excited that, that this movie's going to have the ability to do that. Yeah, I've been involved every step of the way. It's been a long, emotional three years, to say the least. It's been a heavy one, but um, also I'm, I'm really happy and proud of the film. I think the Teton guys did an amazing job, like really amazing. They really captured who Andy truly was, and he was a remarkable man. Keep it right here. We're coming back with highlights in action from the NSSA regionals that went down at Kiwalo Basin on Oahu's South Shore. Stay tuned for more board stories. Come through and let the valley happen. Take in the sights, look at the plants, feel the different types of wind that blow through Waimea. Through the hands-on activities and demonstrations, our cultural artisans that come in here represent what went on in daily life in old Hawaii. Work your way up to the waterfall. The waterfall with its life-giving waters, healing waters, it's a place unlike any other that you would find on the island of Oahu. The NSSA is a national surfing organization that readies kids for the next level of surfing. It's basically broken down into three regions, which we have the East Coast region, the West Coast region, and the Hawaii region. So here today we're at the finals to get yourself in the position for the national championships, which happens in California at Huntington Beach every July. This is 
say is, you know, that next step before kind of doing those junior pros and the QS events. So you're competing with, you know, the same kids at different locations and you have to adapt and learn how to strategize. I grew up surfing the NSSA when I was younger. It was so much fun surfing with NSSA. It was really challenging. Girls like Malia Manuel and Coco Ho are all girls that I competed with in NSSA and, and now traveling the world on the championship tour. So I'm super thankful for my experience. I did regionals because everyone from around Hawaii comes to this event and good competitors and yeah, it's the road to nationals. This is like all the islands combined and everybody from each island is competing and it's, you want to win it because you're competing against everybody. This event is important to me because I'm going against all of the island's best kids and if you win, I don't know, you feel like you're the best kid in Hawaii. Do good here, you get a chance to go to nationals, and nationals has all the best kids in the U.S., so. I really like to compete because it's a constant challenge. There's always things you can learn from it, and it's always fun to surf against your peers. Kiwalos is a, is a great, great wave, you know. The regionals is held a little earlier for the, for the summer south swell season, but it's one of those waves where like, hey, like, we got like two, three foot wind swell. Kiwalos is, you know, waist to chest high on the set. With this event, yeah, leading up to the nationals in California, you know, it's all the hard work pays off to get to California. So, you know, something like this event, they got to really focus. So even though it's grindy, they got to make it happen. Don't go anywhere. Our Spill of the Week is up next, right here on Board Stories. Promotional support for Board Stories is provided by Waimea Valley, where Hawaii comes alive. Check them out online at waimeavalley.net and give them a visit next time you're on the North Shore. Welcome back to Board Stories. I've enjoyed the beauty here at Waimea Valley. I hope you enjoyed the show. Well, we can't finish the show off without our spill of the week. And there's no better place for that than the Bonsai Pipeline. As for me, your host, Chris Atronic, I gotta head out of here but I'll see you in the water. Aloha. This spill of the week takes us back to our favorite wintertime surf spot, Pipeline. With a solid northwest swell marching in, this unlucky soul gave it a go, but ended up a couple paddles short, launching himself over the falls and into oblivion. <laughs> <laughs> 